Memorial Day is packed with all kinds of sporting events. Uh, the NCAA Lacrosse Final Four set to start Saturday in Philadelphia. Oh, the ASU Sun Devil fans are going to have a reason to cheer for the Duke Blue Devils as one of the most popular players in school history will be cheering on his son. Here's Mark McLoon. He's the son of a Sun Devil legend. But Cade Van Raphorst has carved out his own path athletically. The Duke senior was just named All-American and this weekend will try to lead his team to a lacrosse national championship. I actually made a joke with my dad and I committed. I was like, well, you never got any Sun Devils, but at least you got a Blue Devil. So. We caught up with Cade as he was coming off the practice field on Friday in Philadelphia. The Blue Devil senior has had all year to stew on losing last year's championship game. We lost 13-11 to last year, and it was a matter of right, what do we have to do to make sure that, you know, what do we have to change along the way for two goals. Cade spent some time following in his dad's footsteps. He played quarterback and linebacker at Desert Vista High School in Ahwatukee. But lacrosse had him hooked from a young age. How much pride is there in just seeing what your boy's doing right now? Yeah, a lot. I mean, honestly, just from the standpoint, I think because I know where he came from. You know, Desert Vista High School, we used to play at Will Nolan Field where the parents lined the field with chalk. And we used to go out at night and turn the sprinklers on. You know, I probably owe the city some money, but it's really just a testament to if you have a dream, work hard, you can make it happen. And Cade's dad knows what it's like to play in big games. He's the only Arizona State quarterback to lead the Sun Devils to a Rose Bowl victory. Yeah! Let's go back Jeff flew to Philly on Friday after speaking with Arizona's family. And I asked him one time, I said, you know, what are you going to do? And he goes, you know, I, I like, I love football games. I love lacrosse games, but I love lacrosse practice. And I'm like, then I said, then follow your dream. You know, he'll talk me through different scenarios and just never letting the moment be too big. Obviously, really thankful that, you know, he is my dad. I think one of the, you know, the big differences is he was playing in front of like 110,000 people, and hopefully there'll be like 30,000 here. So. And if you're trying to get a hold of Cade this weekend, be patient. The Blue Devils play Virginia on Saturday morning, Arizona time. A win puts them back in the title game on Memorial Day. I deleted all my social media about six weeks ago just to kind of focus on the team. So if I'm not responding, that's why. But <laughs> And Cade's lacrosse career won't be finished when the final four is. He's actually been drafted in the top ten by the Premier Lacrosse League and will play and work next season in New York. I'm Mark McClune for Arizona's Family.